I mean, it's, it's bending it. And I mean, what else can I do? I got half a can of effing silicone on here. I'm about to lose my shit. I tried to upgrade my damn film settings, you know, instead of using this effing iPhone. And this son of a bitch is so complex. I don't know what ISO white balance is. So when I got on something bright, you see every freaking thing. If something's dark, you can't see shit. So if anybody knows anything about cameras, please let me know. Because I don't know shit about them. And I bought a way better camera than my dumb ass can ever fucking use. As hard as I can. I'm, I'm bending the shit back. It ain't fucking going. I used a half a can of silicone. So I'm about to go get a block and beat this shit on with a hammer. Because that's all I know to do. It ain't, it ain't coming on. And... Just lube it up. Yeah, I, I've, it's fucking lubed, man. And it just ain't slipping in. I don't know if you can see or not. Dang. You ain't, I, I mean, unless I'm just a person. I don't know, but I pulled as hard as I, I was moving the truck back and forth. What up, dicks? Welcome back to the channel where we uh, do shit Colts way. Today, we're gonna be working on the old 6.7 again. Uh, it's been a while since I've done a video, done a video on that, but um, what I got here is this uh, SPE upper radiator hose kit right here i'll show you what the factory one looks like it looks like dog shit but this one's a uh, high quality this silicone hose right here it's got other shit reinforcer in there too i don't know all the details but it just looks way better um and the quality looks badass so this is we'll get into all this shit here in a minute this is going to go above the thermostat but you know just for shits and giggles this is how terrible this one looks you know i mean you can see it's just this shit's just flaking off i can literally just pull all this shit off that's terrible. Looks, looks terrible. It ain't leaked yet, but you know, it looks like dog shit. So let's roll. We're going to get this thing changed out. First thing you got to do is, uh, I'm going to take the lid off this. You don't have to, I guess it just get a little air bubble when you're draining, but there's, I don't know if I can get the camera up in here. Let me see here. Uh, let me see what this camera's looking at. Uh, okay. You see, let's see if I can see. You see, uh, where's my fucking thing? You see this thing right here? You twist that and coolant comes out, okay? So it's so on the driver's side. There's one on the passenger side too, but we're just, I'm just draining the driver's side one right now. All I wanna do is just get it, um, just get the level lower than, than this hose right here. So I don't know, a gallon or so is gonna drain out. It is what it is. I'm gonna put a bucket up under here and catch it all. But I'm gonna get under here, twist the damn valve, let the coolant drain out. And then, you know, when it's lower than, when I think it's low enough, then I'll, uh, we'll take this hose off and we'll roll. All right, so you see, I got it draining out in this bucket right here, okay? It's draining out. All I did was turn that little valve. I don't guess you can see up in there, and I ain't getting my camera too close to it, but you just turn the damn valve with some, some clients, pliers or something. Let it drain out. When you, got it, when you think you got it low enough, then you know it's good to go. But uh, I'm gonna wait a couple minutes, and if you drain too much, you can always just add more later, it don't matter. Drain it out. Shit, it ain't hard. All right, so I've drained a good bit out. Do I know if it's enough? No. I mean, you ain't gonna know either, I guess, unless you do this all the time, but I got a good bit in there. I don't really see any more in there. I'm guessing it's low enough. If not, I'll just have a little coolant spill out. It, it, it ain't the end of the world. So let's get to taking this off. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is take this little quick connect clip off here, and you gotta save this because you're gonna reuse it. So get you like a flathead or something. Okay, pull this up. That's really all there is to it. So. I'm going to take this off because I'm going to use this here in a minute when we, when we install the new one. And here, you know, I'm going to pull this off and I don't have any cooling out. Now that side's obviously lower, but that's how easy that shit is on that side. Okay. So let me get this camera real quick and see if I can pull this up real quick and show you what I'm talking about. So, okay. So now I'm on the back side. There's another quick connect thing. It's just the same. So... Get my big ass head out of the way. You get your little. I can't really. Should have got a smaller screwdriver apparently, but let me see here. I'm come, try not to block the camera, but you might just have to get over it because I don't know what it's seeing. So you take this quick connect off the same damn way, okay? I had it there, and I. Just to grab the son of a bitch. God dang, son. My neighbor's over there laughing at me. Come on over, Terry. I see you laughing. So, so I drained enough coolant where it didn't matter. So if you, if you don't drain your coolant, there's going to be coolant coming out everywhere. So you've got to drain it or else, you know. But I don't know if you can see now. There's one, two, three little nuts right there, okay? 
So drain your coolant and you won't have any coolant come out. All right, so I've got a quarter inch extension, a quarter inch ratchet with a socket, five sixteenths with an extension. And there's a one, two, and there's one more on the back side. I don't know if you can see it because of the light, but um, I'm gonna take those three bolts out. I ain't got to do it on camera. I mean, shit. Now there is some coolant in there. I don't know. I can't, I don't know if I can get it to be seen. There you go, you can see it a little bit. But, uh, so you're gonna spill a little bit, but you're gonna get that on them big jobs. All right. You can't really see in there because of the light, but I've, I've broke them loose. Um, so you can see, or I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's a little coolant coming out, but it'll be all right. We got some gas burner driving by like he's got some bad clapped out Z71 from O2. <laughs> Probably saw me filming. I wanna drive by like he's doing something. Shit, I'll suck him up without my turbo fucking working, nerd. All right. Come on. You know, it said in the direction something about make sure the thermostat is in the 12 o'clock position. I don't know. I'll look in there. If something looks like it's on the 12 o'clock, I'll just assume it's good. But it also said I'm going to have to go back with a torque wrench and torque these, but... You boy ain't got a torque wrench, so I'll just get him snug. Ah, dang, some of these want to come out easily, some of them don't. All right, so got the housing off. Mm, there's your, your thermostat. I might one day get the SPE thermostat. Uh, you can't see shit right now, so I'll, I'll move the camera when I wipe my hands and show you what I'm seeing. Okay, you see right there? Said to look for something in the 12 o'clock position in the directions. Uh, I don't know if what position that is, but I got, you know, and she got still leaking out. Maybe I did something wrong. Hell if I know. But we're going to put the new one on, so let's roll. What we got to do is, uh, I've been known to do a few things wrong anyway, but this, this part's going to go right, right over top, okay? It's going to go back right down. Uh, I'll have to look here in just a minute how it goes, but... When I get it on there, I'll show you. All right, and it's probably important to note that you'll, you'll know because it won't go back on, but there's two long bolts and one short bolt, okay? The short bolt is the one on the right side over here. The long ones are that left one and that one in the back you can't see. So I'm gonna get them tight down. It says like 80 pounds, foot pounds or something. I don't have a torque wrench. All right, so can't really see. I don't know. I got a new camera. I tried to upgrade my damn film settings, you know, instead of using this effing iPhone. And this son of a bitch is so complex, I don't know what ISO white balance is. So when I got on something bright, you see every freaking thing. If something was dark, you can't see shit. So if anybody knows anything about cameras, please let me know, because I don't know shit about them. And I bought a way better camera than my dumb ass can ever fucking use. Anyway, I got it on there, you know. One good thing about I like about this kit is... You see this kit, you know, the factory one right here, you had to use this uh, little quick connect thing, okay? The SPE kit does away with that quick connect thing on that end. Now, oops, on this end, come on. See, I don't know how to focus nothing. On this end, you, you know, you still have to use the quick connect thing, but it does away with it down there. So, I'm gonna get, I'll, I'll get this, this end set up right here. I'll try to do it on camera. I might just break out the old iPhone, who knows, because I'm getting the red ass on this. I don't know if you can see or not. Dang. Okay, so, you know, the SPE kit, this is going to be the part that goes down by the thermostat, okay? Now you're going to have to put, you know, unless you, you want to take it apart and do it on there later, you put these on here before you put it on there. So slide that one on this end. There's another one right here, slide it on this end, okay? Now this part, right here is going to go right back on the factory end and you'll use the quick connect spring i'll get that on video when i do it and then you know you just slide this over here like this and then tighten down on the clamp that shit seems pretty simple so let's see all right another important fact is they send you an o-ring okay the the part that goes up here that you have to use the speed quick connect clamp that o-ring is going to go in here if you don't have that o-ring it's gonna leak so <laughs> Shh, fucking mats. see i got my clamps on this end the other one on this end 
you know, one thing I've learned, and I'm no fucking mechanic, I don't know shit, so follow this video at your own risk. But whenever I put these clamps on, I always try to envision how it's going to be sitting in there if I'm going to be able to get a screwdriver or it's a 5 16 nut driver to this. But I always try to envision, like, is it going to be at the right angle? You know, I figured on my piping kit, when I put all my things on, when I was tightening them down, I had to, you know, because if you, if you got it on there, and then you can't freaking tighten it. It's a pain in the ass. It's just, it sucks. So anyway... I got this one facing up where I'll be able to tighten it easy. And then this one's going to be facing right towards me where I'll be able to tighten it. But you'll see it later. So shut up, Colt. Let's just put this shit on and get it over with so I can get out of this damn sun. I don't know what this summit is seeing. You got to buy 4,000 different freaking... Uh, you got to buy about every different lens you can... I don't know. Let me see here. This fucking camera's going to fall over and everything else too. All right, so it's important to add that you don't just take the damn gasket and throw it throw it in the top. There, like, there's a recessed line inside there. So this this little O-ring thing goes inside in that little recessed part. You'll see it. I can't get it on camera because this fucking camera is way too smart for me. That was the beauty of an iPhone. It just automatically just did shit for you, and everything looks cool. But this, not so much. But I don't know if you can see or not. You know, you don't just throw it on the top. It's down here inside. There's a little, and that's where you put it, okay? So, and then they said the SPE part needs to be up top. All right, I had to go get the old trusty iPhone because that other camera was just giving me the red ass. But I got the uh, O-ring not on the top, in the middle, not on the bottom. So it's not on the bottom ring. It's in the middle recessed ring in there. You can kind of see it. They said to lube it up. So we'll see, but yeah, see, that's the problem. I get the O-ring on here and I can't effing get it to, I'm about to lose it, man, about to lose it. All right, I, I for the life of me, cannot get this shit on here. You know, when you, when you put the O-ring in there, it, if you take the O-ring out, it just slides on like just perfect all the way up, okay? I put the O-ring in there, and it will not get past the damn O-ring. I'm pulling so hard on this shit. It's about to, I mean, it's, it's bending it. And I mean, what else can I do? I got half a can of effing silicone on here. I'm about to lose my shit. So I thought maybe I had the O-ring in the wrong spot. Well, it don't fit down on the bottom. You damn sure can't put it on the top. So like, what's the, the fuck's going on here? All right, I, I done lost it. I lost my shit. So the only place I know that the, the O-ring can go is in the middle groove in there. Not on the bottom one, not on the top. It's got to go in the, in the middle right there. I have literally pushed on this thing, pulled on it as hard as I can. I'm, I'm bending the shit back. It ain't fucking going. I used a half a can of silicone. So I'm about to go get a block and beat this shit on with a hammer because that's all I know to do. It ain't, it ain't coming on and just lube it up. Yeah, I, I've, it's fucking lubed, man. And it just ain't slipping in. So... I'm gonna get me a piece of block and just beat it on. I'm fucking pulling as hard as I can. It ain't moving. All right, I have just lost my shit for 30 minutes till I resorted to some caveman bullshit and hit it. And I didn't have it on camera because I just didn't. But I've been trying to get this shit on here for 20 effing minutes, man. No matter how much spray I used, lubed it up, put it on, I could not get it to go on. If I took the O-ring out, the sun bitch slid right on. So what I did, I got this block of wood, put it up against this, and beat the hell out of the block of wood, and it went right on, okay? So, I mean, you gotta do whatever you gotta do, but that, you ain't, I, I mean, unless I'm just a puss, and I don't know, but I pulled as hard as I, I was moving the truck back and forth, but I just got the old Klein hammer right here, block of wood, put it on this, and beat it twice with the back, and it come right on. So it's gotta come up to this first thing right here so that you know, this can slide over it. Oh, there, now it's on, can't come off. Simple as shit, I'm so, I was so fucking mad, but I don't know, you know, it is what it is, but it ain't coming off now, but I had to beat it with this hammer and wood. I don't know what you're gonna have to do, but that is kind of ridiculous, but I don't think it's leaking because it's so damn tight. So let's get this hose on and be done. You know, if the truck moves a little bit, I had to go back and get my phone, the other camera. It's just it's too smart for me right now. And I ain't got no time to learn it today. So 
I'm assuming I'm gonna have to lube these some bitches up too. Oh, maybe not. I'll be loosening that damn thing. My 560. Don't fell down here in my winch. That's on there. I remember what I said to position these, how you can get to them. I thought I was, well, I can get a ratchet down there with an extension, but now let's get, I don't hope you can see this side over here. I don't know, but God, that just made me so mad, this thing on this end. It's ridiculous. Put this on. Might could have used some lube. It probably would have went on just perfect if I would have. I don't know. It looks a hundred times better, I know that. Move this damn hammer up. Mad. Get it down all the way. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Anyway, I'm gonna tighten this up off camera and then we'll I'll put some cooling in here and then we'll start it up. All right, got her on there. She's tied up here, she's tight down there. So looks a thousand times better. I mean, the other one was just nasty, but that looks good. Uh, I, I'm, I got the coolant reroute. I got, well, I'll just show you what I got. I should have all done this at one time, but I, I gotta have th three different videos. To, I got this uh, turbo coolant feed line I'm gonna do a video on, and this is the coolant reroute right here. So. Like I said, I should have probably all done it in one video, but I'm not because I'm, I need to have three separate videos so I can keep pumping up content. But anyway, I got this on there. Looks a hell of a lot better. Well, all I gotta do now is just fill up the coolant. You know, everybody's coolant's gonna be different because you might've drained more or less than me. Hell, I don't know. But I mean, I, I ain't gotta show you how to put up your coolant, you know? So I'm gonna do that. So this is about the end of this video, but uh, I just wanted to do a quick little video on the install. Looks, looks way better. Um, this factory one looked like total shit. Luke, he can't, he can't get you. I got a, my dog over there barks at everything, but, uh, so the only thing left to do now is just fill up my coolant. I'm going to do all that off video because everybody's going to have different amounts. I don't know how much you drain. You might drain more or less. What the hell do I know? But it's on there. looks damn good. looks a hundred times better than the factory one. It's all tight. So, you know, factory one did look terrible and it was, they were, they were prone to, leaking right here at the at the front right here anyway um but this this one looks hella good like i said i got the coolant reroute i'm going to do a video on and the turbo coolant feed line so we'll do all that another day this is how much coolant you know i drained out so i don't know how much it is but we put that much back in so anyway just wanted to say appreciate the hell of y'all watching the video you know um to be honest I don't know if I was doing something wrong trying to get it on, but like I damn sure wasn't in like this. I mean, I'm fairly strong. I pulled this, pushed it as hard as I freaking could. I couldn't get the shit to go on. So I got the block of wood and the hammer. That's what I did. Now don't get a hammer and just hit right there on the aluminum. You'll bend it, crack it, whatever. You know, that's why I got the, uh, that's why I got a piece of a block of wood. But I hit it literally uh, the first time and almost went and the second time I tapped it, it went all the way. So apparently, you know, I don't know. But I, I, I mess with that for a long damn time. I don't want you to have to do that too. So anyway, you know, like, subscribe. If you don't, whatever, fuck off. But you know, I was trying to upload regularly, but I, just had, I got a bunch of projects going on at the house. You know, um, I just had this big slab poured back here. I had three oak trees here. I cut down or had cut down because I don't have the equipment to haul them off. And then that big ass oak right there, I had another one right there that was just as big. We got back from the beach and it was, uh, I mean, it was, it was split in half somehow. So I had to have it cut down and hauled off. So I had those big three oaks cut down, hauled off. You know, I got, I had this old slab and I just put this new one here. Um, 
on it right there and I had a little ramp and I brought a bunch of dirt in, planted some grass and everything because it was all red dirt. And then I don't know if you remember, but I had a pond back there and I had the pond, uh, I had the pond filled in. I rented a track hoe and broke the levee, let it drain, and then I hired somebody to come in here. I had a big hill up there that took some of that hill and then most of the levee with it. But I'm trying to get grass to grow on it now. Uh, this grass, can't really see, but it's, it's, uh, it's growing decent on the hill right there. It was all red dirt, but so I've been busy. And then, you know, uh, I think Tuesday, I'm getting my driveway paved. So it's, it's, I've been spending a lot of money, but you know, with my little girls, they got room back here to play. We'll be able to ride their little cars up there. You know, there's just no concrete around for them to ride around. So this is nice. It's going to be awesome, you know, and then I'll probably end up probably putting a shop back there where that hill was. That's the goal at least, but a couple things at a time. It's just been busy as hell. But anyway, you know, appreciate the hell y'all watching, you know, next time or until next time. God bless.